I ordered my ZYX Tarot uh, three-axis system from CNC Heli. It was a fresh package. It was uh, shrink-wrapped and everything, so I, I don't think this is their fault. But one of the things I noticed when I first inspected it was that buttonhole has got nothing in it. And the video I'd watched online uh, and some pictures I'd seen suggested there should be something there. Well, um, I attempted to install it and uh, found very quickly that uh, there is nothing there. My uh, paper clip will go right into that hole uh, as if nothing is there. So something's wrong with this setup. Um, that there is from my attempt to install it on my heli. So I'm going to send it back to CNC Helicopter. I've contacted them. Hopefully they'll come through and uh, give me a new ZYX system. The Tarot head is uh, sharp, man. This thing is a solid. Unlike some of the cheaper aluminum ones that I've gotten online, this head is built like a rock. I haven't taken it apart yet, but I have no doubt that this is a quality head. Uh, for 33 bucks, uh, it was affordable, though it was at the upper end of the economy ones. The thing that's a little bit different with this one, and I'll have to see how this works out, is that the uh, swash plate arms are connected to the head itself as opposed to having a piece that uh, can slide up and down on the shaft itself uh, for adjustment. So we'll see how that works out. So first disappointment with the uh, ZYX system was uh, getting a bad one out of the box. Hopefully we won't be disappointed. A lot of people have had good luck with this. Uh, I would say that as I went through the instruction booklet several times, uh, there were some things that were a little confusing. Um, I'm hoping that uh, some of the discoveries I've made will make it easier. You can see my red handwriting here. Um, between the system menu and down here, the parameters menu, I think is what they call it. Yes, the uh, so here's the uh, system menu and here's the uh, setup menu. There are two different menus that have different uh, setups on them. If you're familiar with the BSTEX, uh, the BSTEX uh, I like because the uh, alphabetical system walks you right through everything and then there's a separate parameter system. This one doesn't. The only thing I could see different between entering the setup and the systems menu was whether or not the servos were connected. Uh, I couldn't find any other differentiation between them. The startup routine is the same. But I didn't get a chance to test that out uh, only to find that the system that I'd gotten was bad. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, looking forward to hearing from CNC Helicopter and see if we can't get a replacement for this one. Bummer. Uh, hopefully not a big disappointment. We'll see.